guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today it's Friday, we're gonna be showing you a beautiful 1966 138 Real Deal SS Chevrolet Chevelle. If you wanna see more information on this specific car, please be sure to click the link below. It'll give you finance options, transport options. Even if you wanna send it to Germany, we can get you set up there. Uh, thanks and please subscribe. I'm gonna start off with the front end of the car and the paint quality. I'd rate this paint a 6.5 to 7 out of 10. Extremely nice, shows very well, but there are minor imperfections throughout. Chrome is very nice. Let's go ahead and look at the hood. Got those beautiful vents. Big old engine in there, 454. Runs extremely nice, has a set of headers. Uh, it does have electronic ignition. You do have a big aluminum radiator and power brakes, and you do have Willwood, so when you look inside these American racing wheels, these chrome American racing wheels, you're gonna see the Willwood calipers with the slotted and drilled rotors, front and rear. Underside's very detailed. The frame has been painted. It does have a really nice setup in the rear for traction. As you're gonna see that the frame itself has been painted. Looks like a POR40, really clean. Exhaust is new. Uh, let's see what rear end's in there. It's got a 12 bolt rear end. You can see the stainless steel brake lines. Body lines are nice, but it is driver quality. So you're gonna see some differences in gaps on the doors on both sides. All the trim is there. Uh, all the bright work looks good. Let's go down the driver's side. Driver's side from this angle, I mean, it's just beautiful. Got your, it says 396, but it is a 454. Gonna open up the door. Interior is very inviting. You've got your fuel gauge, your speedometer, and it does have what looks like a four-speed transmission, but it's actually a five-speed transmission. Tack works on the, on the uh, center console, and you do have a set of dummy gauges, which will be your water temperature, your voltage, and your oil pressure, which is extremely important when you're driving a classic car like this. Rear seats look really nice. The bright work and trim does show a little bit of aging, so you can see some pitting throughout, along with on this mirror set, and I do see a hole from where they mounted it incorrectly at some point, along with a little bit of a paint over spray right here, and some cracking. So you're gonna look at the VIN plate right here. I'm looking at it, it's a 138 car. That means it is a SS or a V8 car. Let's go ahead and close this. Quarters look good, they've been replaced, both sides. Gonna open up the trunk now. I know you're looking at the stuff behind me. That's gonna be included in the sale. So that's the original four-speed transmission right there. And then you do have a set of uh, GM manifolds that look period correct. Speedo cable and then a Hurst shifter linkage along with the clutch that was for this original transmission. We've got some moldings here for the windows. The trunk is extremely solid. Let me go ahead and start it up so you can hear it. All right, I'm gonna start it up right now. Sounds good. Right now we've got uh, 45 pounds of oil pressure. Sounds good, let's go in the back to hear it. This is gonna be fun to drive. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff away and then we'll take it for a test drive. All right, let's start up the Chevelle. It sounds good. Got your tack right here, so you can see that it's idling at around 800 RPMs. It's at 160 degrees right now. We've got voltage, good oil pressure. The steering wheel just matches with everything going on, including, this, including the wheels outside, the leather wrapped wheel. Your radio is just there for looks because it doesn't work. Interior is very nice. Headliner is nice. Uh, I do see the panels in the back coming out a little bit, but you know, that's pretty normal for these cars. Clutch is heavy, so it's definitely a performance clutch. Ooh, it feels good. All right, let's turn right on Ravenswood and we'll test her out. Clutch is heavy, feels really good. Shift in a second. 
You can feel the torque. All right, I'm turning on 36th Street. Clutch feels really good. It's really heavy. Shift in a second. Smooth transition. Power, you could feel the torque from this motor. Uh, steering wheel feels good. It's not pulling from left to right. Let's feel how the brakes feel. Oh, it stops like a modern car. We're in third right now. What I'll do is I'll turn onto this road and we'll leave it in second. No funny sounds over that incline right there. Oh, American muscle coming out of those pipes. Downshifted, let's see how it sounds. That's nice. All right, let's, let's test her out. We'll do uh, first gear roll, let's see what happens. I mean, it's a lot of power, so I'm sure it'll be. That feels good. It's so fast, literally the, uh, I got tomahawked by the sun visor, which works excellent, by the way. We've been driving around for about five minutes. Temperature is at 177 degrees, so it is staying cool. It's hot here in Florida today, around 89 degrees. Clutch is easy, no chattering. Carb is set up right. And then when you actually give it gas, let's get over these bumps. I'll do a second gear pull, you ready? Brakes are awesome. You can push them and it stops it with no issues at all. Right now what I'm going to do is uh, turn left here. We'll go into first gear and I'll give you an actual test run so you can see how fast she really is. Are you ready? We're rolling right now in first. I'm going to just stab it. Feels good. If you guys are looking for a real muscle car, this is definitely it. Chevrolet Chevelle, 954-363-2261. If you have any questions, we could ship worldwide. Also, if you want a transport qu quote for this beautiful machine, just send us an email at sales at bulletmotorsport.com. Thanks again, and please subscribe. Let's get some outside shots.